high-powered firearms and a cache of ammunition discovered in a dramatic police raid. This morning, a successful intelligence-led operation led to the seizure of 26 handguns and high-powered rifles. Stay tuned as we delve into the details of this significant bust. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. At around 5.30 hours on July 24, 2024, a police intelligence-led operation at Lot 25, Sandy Bab Street, Kitty, yielded an alarming find. During the raid, officers discovered 26 handguns and high-powered rifles, along with a substantial amount of ammunition. The operation, led by a superintendent, targeted the home of Eon Faggins, a 47-year-old clothes vendor. As police entered the property, Faggins was seen exiting the house with a side bag containing a SIG Sauer rifle, a Polymore 89mm pistol, a Springfield Army 45 pistol, and various ammunition. Faggins admitted he did not have a license for the firearms, leading to his immediate arrest. Further searches in the house and a black Nissan Duke revealed more firearms and ammunition, including AM-15 rifles, Glock pistols, and hundreds of rounds of various calibers. The sheer volume of the arsenal points to a well-organized operation. In addition to Eon Faggins, five others present at the residence were arrested, Carol Faggins, Eon's 66-year-old mother, Davina Persaud, his 22-year-old niece, Teresa Faggins, his 49-year-old sister, Tessa Persaud, his 48-year-old sister, and Clement Thornton, a 48-year-old handyman. All individuals are currently assisting police with their inquiries as the investigation continues. The confiscated firearms and ammunition have been sent to the GPF's ballistic section for examination. With the operation uncovering such a large cache, the legal implications for those involved are severe. The investigation is ongoing, with further charges likely as more information is uncovered. This significant seizure of high-powered firearms and ammunition highlights the ongoing efforts of the police to combat illegal weapons. We'll keep you updated as the investigation progresses. With that said, thanks for watching.